Campion Library STEAM Club. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple upcycled scrap paper into lovely new paper, homemade paper. We've even got one with a bit of glitter through it. So it's, it's really simple, it works, but you need a lot of time to do this. It's, it's a timing, a patient activity rather than a quick solution, but it does make a beautiful end product. Okay, so you need scrap paper. Now I've got shredded paper here, but you can just rip up scrap paper or old newspaper. Whatever colour you end up um, ripping up or recycling uh, is what your paper will turn out like. So we've got a bit of a blue tinge to our paper, um, but you can add food colouring to it if you want and make it your own. You need a deep pot bowl. You need warm to hot tap water. You need one of these splatter screens. We bought this one from Cheapest Chips for $4. Um, Cole, uh, Kmart also has them. I think Coles might have them too. You need a clean tea towel or towel. And you need about two nights in a warm environment for your paper to uh, dry enough and come up off of the splatter screen. So, oh, and did I say you need a blender or a stick mixer? So you definitely need one of these. So if you can gather those materials, I will show you how to put it all together. Okay, the first thing you need to do to make your upcycled paper is rip up your old paper. So I've already got my paper ripped up. So I'm gonna put about three handfuls of paper into my container. Depends on the size of your container. So I'm gonna put about three handfuls. So then I'm gonna fill up the container till the water covers all my paper. So I've got my hot tap water here. Um, depending on your age, it's because if you've got parents to do this with you. So I'm gonna tip my water in. Papers covered with the water, and if you can see that. Now I just have to wait a whole hour. Okay, now your paper has been soaking in your container for an hour, it's ready to be with your stick mixer or you might have it in a blender and you just need to pulse it a few times too. You actually, actually don't need to pulse it for very long, you just need a consistent sludge in and you'll see all the paper turn into uh, a mixture very quick. So let's do it. <laughs> Your sludge into the sink. Make sure your sink's big enough to hold your splatter screen. And then just a little bit of water. Mix your paper sludge around in the water until there's a nice amount of sludge over the whole sink. You put your splatter screen in the sink under the under the paper sludge and you, it's like you're panning for gold and you're trying to get an even amount of sludge over your splatter screen. Now when you pull it up like this you can see it's quite even. I do have some missing bits here so I just need to make sure by picking up some sludge from the sink that I'm going to cover the bits that were a bit sparse. I'm pretty happy with that. I could put a little bit more over here and a little bit more over here. But overall, I'm happy with the consistency that I've made. Now, 
This is when you can put some glitter or petals, flower petals on top if you want. Just be very careful that you don't put too many or it won't sink in to the mixture. All you need to do now is get a towel or some tea towels, put them under the splatter screen just to absorb the water and keep your splatter screen on your towels for two days in the lounge room where you might have the heater on at night time. So you've got to wait and you might think, oh, it's not working, it's still got moisture in it, but just give it another day and suddenly it'll come up from the splatter screen and you've got your paper.